Okay, something a bit different for the blog this week. Uh, because it's anniversary, I thought I would chuck this one out. Three years ago, there was flooding in Northern Ireland in August. Not a month you would expect it. Uh, who are you going to call a crisis? The farmers. They got the kit. They got the skills. So here is the story of August 2017. My name is Adam Kiln. I live in New Baldwin's there. We, the farm itself there, we're local to the area. Uh, this is the main Victoria Road. And uh, the man that we're standing outside we're hen here. Uh, Everglades is just behind me, around right that corner. Last night about three o'clock, rain started and never stopped. The longer the day went on, the heavier it got. A lot of rain then caused a lot of surface water on top of the roads. So about seven o'clock then that night, a worker of mine that actually lives in the village in New Bowdens rung me to see if he could get a, a land of a tractor and tanker. We jumped in the jeep and went over to see what was going on and there must have been about a hundred folk standing with buckets and even I've seen two with uh, even a cup that they drank their tea with trying to help a neighbour out to stop the water from getting into their house. So. We went over and we seen how bad it was. It was about waist height up the door. So we decided we'd run, play, run back to the yard and get a tractor and tanker and go out. And we tried to work to find if we could sort the problem so it wouldn't happen later on the night. Then around 12 o'clock, uh, my two brothers, Gordon and Chrissy, had to go to drum a hole there. Uh, one of the villages were actually under immense water, so they used a the tractor to cart out pregnant, uh, pregnant women and children with a tractor because they, the uh, they were the only vehicles that can get in the night. If they had read this year, you know, if they actually would have read this, this would be 10 times less. Like. This is whenever you knock a mass in the eco mode. It's actually very easy in the diesel now. The police got in contact with us and asked us to do a, a lock of main roads around the area. We started there up at the back of New Bowdens from the top of Garden of Scale down and we sorted that out. It was only the whole time we were there, it was only us and the police. The, the sandbags that were laid to stop the water from running into our home was done by the locals. The tractor and tankers was all done by ourselves. We just took it on board and got it done. Last night, it was, it was nothing major. I was helping out my neighbours and helping out the locals. We're from New Bowdens, so we helped out New Bowdens. Today was actually, a, we didn't realise it was as bad as it was until a local shop contacted me because it was affecting his business. Because at the end of the day, there's no cars going past it. He's not making no money. I've been here since nine o'clock. We had Dodo pump. It's pumping non-stop. We couldn't get in near that because it was over our waist and trying to find gratings and that was... It was completely just everywhere was lying in water like. A man has to pay out of his own pocket to do all this here. What I've been told. And I'm not a councillor like, but I wish I was. But I think it is, all of them need to take a good look at themselves today. Oh, A5, A6. Hey, they can't even clean gullies. Let's work together. Let's get action grips on the ground whenever there's flooding, snow or anything on the ground and everybody worked at gallery communities. Enough's enough. When they can't even come round your door looking for a vote. You see the men there working away, sleeping their guts out. They're farmers. This road here now is, I would say in the next half an hour, it'll be 100% usable again. If the police ask us to go to the next job or whatever, we'll see what they want.
Hello, I'm Alistair McKelvey and we are in Plumbridge, County Throne. We had a very misfortunate storm last night with rain and has caused a lot of problems. We have seen water up the 15, 16 foot deep in places last night. This building here we're behind, it was up to the height of the second row of wonders and it was just unbelievable until you've seen it yourself. Photographs wouldn't do it justice, so it would. The march had just an ordinary breeding stock sale last night and just called down to see what was happening. And then whenever we come down, the rain was just starting to take off. And there's a neighbouring farmer here in the field next door, went to take out stock. And the stock all started, got frightened and started heading for the river. And there was bull and two cows and two calves went to the river. So then we were involved in it helping to try and see if we could get the stock out and luckily enough we got the two cows and two calves out no problem they kind of the cows floated out at their own accord and then we thought the bull was gone but the bull turned up this morning to half ten about two mile away from here on a field chaos i think it's the best way to describe it um like it's a lot tidier now compared to what it was then uh the water had all left here from the mart but in the factory behind us, uh, it's still waterlogged right up to the road. Um, the windows, walls, everything's busted through. Like it's just uh, madness. The gates and all we've tidied up. Like it was all trees and grass and branches and mud. There's and the ring in the mart here was two foot of mud uh, everywhere. And last night it was about 15 feet or so, 10, 15 feet in water in here, and went right up to the main road. Um, there's a play group just right behind us here and that's totally destroyed. Where do you go from here? Like, The rain here last night was something that people never experienced in their life. There was water coming out of everywhere. It was it just something you would needed to experience. Telling somebody what, they wouldn't understand it. Like The water running across that plum bridge was unbelievable and the noise of the rumble of the water was unbelievable. There was a police car put here earlier on. I've seen a couple of council lorries but I, I know myself like they're under severe pressure like there's a lot of road closures between bridges been broken, roads washed away, landslides. You know, they, they have a lot to contend with this morning. Now. I would say probably all day there could have been at least 20-25 people here all day I would think. It's just coming and going and just everybody's just helping out. They're, it just, it just was that bad and there was that much work to do and the way things are looking, it's not all going to be done today either. But uh, if we can get half of the march routed out, they're hoping they hold the seal here tomorrow. All been well. They're not going to be able to use all the pens around the back because there's busted walls and gates and things. Uh, they're going to try and improvise and use the pens that they have here. They can't use the back half because the walls and gates and everything's busted there as well. But they're going to use this side and they're going to make uh, pens out here and works on they're not 100 percent sure how they're doing it yet but it's a work in progress the march a very vital part of any farming community we're relying on marts to sell stock to get money in and the land especially as well last night like ourselves in our own farm we lost second cut grass last night with three to four foot of mud on the field and it's vital, you know, that's a very important thing in a farm, like your second cut of silage. Come the winter time, we're 14 acres of grass down as it is. And that field, I don't know where we will start to even clean it up. It is unbelievable. Fences took out, hedges taken out. The roadway is up to our house and everything's destroyed. I was lucky enough to act quickly and save our workshop. Um, I got the doors closed and I uh, put two or three bucketfuls of rubble in front of it, got it diverted. Uh, the tanks flooded at our house. This one of the machinery shades flooded and the house was, if it had been very much more, it would have been coming in the front door. And that's, we were living on a hill, you know, where you'd nearly think you're always safe, but uh, we weren't safe this time. There's a fellow I was talking to here earlier on, he went looking for a batch of sheep roughly of a hundred and he can only find half of them. He has a landslide on his land and he's assuming that they're under it. Uh, and they're still here. They know they can't do anything there. They need, they need help as well and need diggers and one thing and another. 
um, but yet they're here getting stuck in and it's it's taking everybody to try and get this place into a bit of shape. For the likes of the damage to the buildings and the, you know the electrics and everything's destroyed here, walls destroyed, you know there's an awful amount of work to do here. The uh, insurance is hopefully going to cover that all been well. Um, but a lot of people here like there's a lot of people just getting stuck in here like this is where this is where they get their money. The mart needs to be up and running so that's as that's as valuable to them to get it up and going as is the people that own it like right behind me here on uh, my left hand side was a porta cab and that was the March canteen. Um, whenever the water started to get really deep in here it, this, the way they described it was you think someone just left it with a crane they just left it straight up in the ground and it's bobbed about in here for a long time uh, it actually went down and it, it smashed the bridge here in Plum Bridge it actually took the wall out um, eventually it it got sucked in and went underneath the bridge and I think it done some damage underneath as well but, but uh, there's people there surveying it today uh, I don't know too much about that but it's there's parts of it between here and Newton Stewart scattered everywhere someone seen the, the door for the canteen and a field about two miles from here it was unbelievable this morning the amount of people that turned up here to help out Landon with telehandlers wheelbarrows people just would have done anything to get everything up and running and if you go to anybody to ask, you will get whatever you want. The farming community is a tight knitted community. They'll help one another out. There's no doubt about that. And the day has definitely proved that. Like we're all down here this morning. There's men here since seven o'clock this morning and they're still here and they'll be here tonight to make sure that the sale goes on tomorrow because it would be an awful disappointment for men that the mart wasn't running for financial reasons and just it's a thing that brings everybody together as a livestock mart. Uh, well, we started yesterday morning and we haven't stopped since. Now we're out here in the A5 between uh, Balmagore and Brady. The river agency got in contact with us, asked us to come out and give them a wee hand just to pump the water across. Probably one of the busiest roads in the area. Uh, this is right through from Derry side, right over to Stavan. So uh, there's a lot of traffic in this road. So trying to open it as quick as possible again. I would say within the next 12 hours, I would say, hoping all going to plan, she should be operational. There's a uh, kiln bro ourselves, uh, Ronnie Kilns down the road, uh, Gord Hill, uh, and they own, Rivers Agency own two tractors as well, nine of us here, all together. The Rivers Agency are doing whatever they can with the resources. They're doing their best. For that amount of rainfall, or rainfall in such a short period of time, uh, there's absolutely nothing anybody could have done or prepared for it, no matter how much pipe or how much pumps you had then. But now, when they're calling us on, like, it's, it's a real show. Like, they just want the job done and as fast as possible. So there's always, on a farmyard, there's always stuff to do any time of the day. But we put that off to get the road open for the public because sure, people, it's a, it's disrupting people's jobs and people's businesses, so the faster we can get this road open, the faster everybody else can get back on with life again. <laughs>